guys, what's going on? It's Calvin Captain, and today we are starting a brand new series. This is the Star Wars The Clone Wars mod, and I have a pretty funky setup going on right now. I'm recording downstairs at the kitchen table on my new laptop, but this video will not be edited on it. I'm still trying to find an editing software that will cooperate with the, um, the video files that OBS produces. Now, um, I know Fraps is probably a better, you know, option to recording. I don't know how to install it. Well, I do know how to install it. I don't know how to run it. don't know how to operate it, so that's that. Um, and I'm going to be editing this on my Apple. I'm just going to flash drive the uh, file over, transition it, and edit it, and upload it there. So, let's get into today's video, guys. I'm sorry I haven't been posting. Thank you, We Go again for the shout out. Amazing. Let's go ahead and start a brand new uh, single player uh, campaign, and guys, if you do want to play this mod, the link to the game and the mod are down below in the description. It's on Steam. Um, you can find an installation video out there. It would take me a couple seconds. There is one thing, though. However, when you install the mod that I would change, and that is the properties folder and stuff like that, ask me on it in the comments and I'll answer. But, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Single player, new campaign. This is what you guys came here. Oh, no, no, not new campaign. Galactic Conquest. My bad. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to do the Clone Wars because that's all the 70 planets. These are the options for you guys. You got a Battlefront campaign right here. And these are kind of like a condensed version. You don't get everything though. You have the Clone Wars, which unlocks every single thing that you can get. There's also 70 planets, so it's really hard. Uh, I believe you can, yeah, you can play as the uh, Confederacy or the Republic. The Republic, you get like the core world and some like Camino and stuff like that, and some worlds in the Outer Rim, but mainly in the, Confeder the Confederacy of Independent Systems, you have the, uh, you know, outlying worlds. So, you have Light in the Dark, again, limited. Uh, Begun the Clone Wars have, kind of same thing as um, the Clone Wars, same objective, but uh, not as much planets, and I don't think you can uh, tech all the way up to level 5. And the Outer Rim, um, you're just limited because you don't have any of the core worlds, so you don't have quad and stuff like that for shipyard producing. But then again, well, I got the burps as per usual, guys. I'm sorry, but we're going to hop into the Clone Wars. Excuse me. Uh, we're going to be playing on a medium. I tried it on easy just to test, and it was just way too easy. I could do whatever I wanted. The AI would attack, but it would be with a very small force and easily uh, overwhelming them. Just a level 1 space station. And you'll guys see all this stuff in the game. Uh, enough stalling. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. Hard? Hard is way too hard. I I get bamboozled. <laughs> I believe this is my frame, my frame rate over here. I don't know for sure, and the game is freezing up. Alright, here we go guys. This is the ob or active story objectives. So we're playing the Clone Wars. Incoming transition, transmission, transpission, ition. From Chancellor Palpatine, the Clone Wars, the galaxy's in turmoil. Many star systems have broken away from the Republic. We have learned that the Separatists are secretly building a massive droid army. Thanks to the cloning facilities on Camino, we can now meet this threat with an army of our own. We must stop this rebellion and restore peace to the galaxy. The Republic will win and achieve victory if... The Separatists and Pirates are removed from the galaxy. Cool. Alright, so these are our heroes we get to start off with. I'm going to go ahead and pause the game right here so they don't get any advantage on me. Um, the many times I've played this campaign, um, I need to take Skako. They produce um, the Federation battleships extremely fast. Plus, they give us level 5 space station. And... Uh, you can defend it very easily, and I want to take this before all these slots get filled up with, like, droid army stuff. Now, where this mod shines over, uh, let's say, Republic at War, which I'll probably also be playing on this channel, similar version, like a similar campaign, and you guys can, like, see the differences and tell me which one you likes better, is the ground battles. The ground battles is where this mod shines. The clones are taken directly from the Clone Wars series. As you can see, this is, like, the animation kind of here. I don't know, you can see in the you know beginning of the video the clones on uh, Christosis, which is right here, um, they're fighting the droids away. So, yeah, we need to actually get our income up because right now we're only getting four thousand a day, so that's not good at all. These are all of our worlds over here. They're capital for the 
Confederacy is Raxus right over there. We have to take out all these planets to win. Elam is over here isolated. I don't think I no, I can't drag the fleet over here. But yeah, this is the current fleet uh, that I have. I don't have any Venators. Um, I just have Acclimators because I'm tech level 1. And actually, let's go ahead and get into the tech tree for you guys just to see what I will be unlocking. So this is the land of tech tree. We have tech 1 right now. That means we can unlock the light vehicle factory, the shop, or the mine. We can unlock all this stuff. We can unlock the Jedi Knights. We can unlock a barracks, security training, and we can unlock the officer academy to give us a clone commander and a tactical officer for space battles. Now, in my opinion, the tactical officer and the clone commander are very important to get. As to give you a, a small boost in the beginning, but that boost is usually just enough to get you over the uh, Confederacy forces, depend like even if they're like a lot you know, stronger than you. Tech 2, you get the Advanced Vehicle Factory, or the Heavy Vehicle Factory, and you can get the um, UTAT Repulsor Tanks. Those are the ones you see on my Guido in Revenge of the Sith, next in the Order 66 scene. Um, you have the AV-7 Artillery, uh, you saw in the Clone Wars movie. You have a Magnapulse Cannon, which is like a little ground, surface-to-surface, uh, -surface, like, super cannon. It's very amazing. <laughs> you have Turbo Lasers, Shield Generators, Tech 3. Um, a better heavy vehicle factory that will produce ATTEs and the uh, Juggernauts, which you saw in the Clone Wars series and in um, the, uh, shoot, what is it, Kashyyyk, the Kashyyyk scene. Um, and you also get the Hypervelocity Gun. Now, the Hypervelocity Gun, oh man, that thing is a beast. It'll tear through ships in space. So basically, it's mounted on your planet. If you have one on your planet and an enemy fleet attacks, it's basically like a, um, a super weapon that you can charge up. It's kind of like a Death Star, I guess. It's the same principle, and it'll fire a beam, and it'll totally decimate a ship. Now, this one is not as strong as the one in Republic at War. You guys will see that one later. we got Tech 4, the AT-AP walkers, um, Republic gunships, and then Phase 2 armor for Tech 5. Since the Space Techs, we have, this is what we have right now for um, Space Fleets. We have the Republic Assault Ship. We have the, uh, you know, this stuff right here. Now, this is a glitch. This is missing for whatever reason, but it's whatever. So, yeah, we have the um, BTL bombers, or the Y-Wings, as they're more, more commonly known. Uh, we have the Torrent-class starfighters, the V-19s. We have a Dreadnought-class heavy cruiser. These things are amazing. They're a beast, and they can take a lot of hits, and they also pack a punch. Better than the Acclimator, I would say. They says this is a classified as a cruiser. I would classify classify this as a frigate, honestly. It's not as big as a frigate, but it definitely has more firepower than this acclimator right here. Um, and then, yeah, you know, this uh, corvette right here. Um, and Tech 2, I don't think you unlock the Nimbus class starfighters, do you? Yeah, I guess you do. Um, I don't really know, <laughs> um, honestly. Okay, but let's go ahead and, yeah. Besides that, you get the Republic Corvette, which is also really, really good. It's like a little missile ship. Um, Tech 3, you get that. Tech 4 is where you finally get the Venators, but you get those at Tech 3, actually. So this Tech 3 is a little messed up, but it gives you an idea on what we're going to be getting. And then you also get the Interdictor Cruisers, which are uh, you saw in Rebels. Um, I'm really surprised the Republic has them, because in the Rebels, they said this is like a new technology and stuff like that. Um, it's just cool that they implemented like a ship, because usually if you... Um, hyperspace in with a whole big fleet you uh, lose or they'll retreat and you won't kill anything and then tech 5 arc 170s and the chancellor's secret project you guys are gonna be so excited to see what that is okay all right now let's start building some shops uh that's the only way we're gonna get uh revenue so i'm just gonna go ahead and build a um shop on every planet now malastare these planets, like, you'll have some planets that have um, these little fuel refineries, and you need to max these out if you guys are playing this, because these give you so much more um, money. So, yeah, that's that's awesome. Um, and even though I'm not, I don't have any buildings to defend this planet, it's worth it, because you have a level 5 space station that you can build, and that will um, basically provide you with enough firepower to defend it, basically, from whatever. Okay. Um, again, export facility and a mining facility. We need to build those on every planet that we can. And actually, I do need to build a uh, research facility over here on Kuros. Now, the reason why I chose to build my research facility over here on Kuros is we're going to be doing our research. Now, this is a very small, isolated planet away from any separatist invasions, I do believe. Excuse me, got the burps again. Um, 
so no one can invade this and it will be safe so I don't have to worry about fleets and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and pop a research facility down right here as well as a mining facility. And you know what? Let's go ahead and max out that mining capabilities over there. And this is Coruscant. We have our heroes here as well. We have Obi-Wan, Yoda, Mace, uh, Anakin. We have Delta Squad, Commando Group, and Padme. Okay, we need to start building the mines again. Again, the game is paused. I don't want the enemy to be uh, getting the upper hand. Now, you can't move ships while the game is paused, but you can build things. But, I mean, again, they don't build. They're stuck until I resume the game. Now, this is where I produce my heavy vehicles. I can't build a heavy vehicle factory, but it's already here, and so is a hypervelocity cannon, which is extremely overpowered and stuff like that. So, um, that planet's not going to fall for a while. Now, as you can see, we only have acclimators. Defending some of these planets. We some planets will even have a space station. So we gotta work on that. Now, over here we need to buy this facility power because it gives more revenue than I do believe a uh, a shop or, or something like that. Okay. Uh now we're almost out of money. I'm not worried about that. Because when the next day happens, all these shops are gonna build before the uh the next day, and this will give me more uh money than I probably started with I don't really know for sure but um let's unpause and let's fast forward throughout the days now this is a little laggy just because I am recording right now this computer is a beast it's just the engine the engine on this game is crappy it can't uh support the amount of troops that it produces basically the amount of entities um great great mod um just can't support its own Okay, there, construction construction complete. We are finishing up all of our mines, and we just boosted our income by 2,000 in just half a day, or not even half a day, almost a full day. And we got paid right there. Okay, we have 6,000 more, so we can now finish uh, creating mines and stuff on the planets that we didn't put mines on. Did I put? No, I did not. Okay, what about on Coruscant? Did I? Nope. Actually, on Coruscant, I'm just going to max out the mines because there's so many slots that I can put them. Um, so, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Now, Serapin, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put that on there too. Illum, you need one. Uh, let's see. You need one. You need one. And, oof, Dragnar needs one. Okay. That's all right. We are broke, though. We only have 100 credits left. But let's go ahead and head over to Camino. Let's prepare for a ground assault while we wait for those shops to build. Okay, we're going to take these troops from the Rishi Moon outpost that we saw in the Clone Wars series. We're going to plop them right over here. We're going to take this little ground force right here, plop them out right here. Um, we're going to take the Camino force right here. Um, I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to move that right there. And we're going to reinforce this fleet right here. Now, no one can get to Camino currently. Yukio is protecting it from Boss Pity. And then Bothu Bothawui is protecting it from Hypori. So, and this is a uh, neutral world, I believe, but it's Republic friendly. So I can use their hyperspace lanes, but Hypori can't. Um, and then we have the huts over here. No one can use the huts. So, okay. Um, we need to meet up with a fleet. The fleet, okay, we just got more money too. We need to meet up with the fleet over Quat. Quat shipyards. You you are going to be our keys to success on taking Skako. Now let's pause the game. I do want to finish building my shop on Deron. There we go. Or Drognar. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> um, we do need to move the ground invasion fleet. <sighs> okay. I need to build some clone troopers. Um, yeah, that should be good. Uh, okay, I'm going to move you over to Green Delhi. That's where we're going to base our attack out of. I just know I said Quat, but that's like where the ships are going to be. The shipyards are there. We are going to bring out these two clone troopers right here. We're going to bring over the ship. We're going to bring over Anakin. We're going to bring over Obi-Wan. We're going to bring over Delta Squad. We are taking this planet, no matter if the Separatists like it or not, before they can do anything. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I did have to go do something. Take care of my dog! <laughs> He's sleeping right now. I probably shouldn't yell that loud. Just put him in his crate. He was extremely exhausted. The puppy's doing good. He's doing amazing. Um, very low on accidents, which is nice. He goes potty outside very well. And, uh, yeah. Okay. 
um, Anaxis, let's uh, move you over to here. We are going to steamroll. And when I mean steamroll, I mean steamroll. They're Skako. Okay, they're already they're already building more forces on Skako. We can't have this happen. They yeah, we can't have this happen. It's time. It's time. Alright, we're gonna hyperspace in there with everything we got. Guys, this is the first battle of the series. Are you excited? You gotta move the chair around. Well, <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Now, they do have an auto-resolve feature. It's not very good. <laughs> I lose a lot of ships when I auto-resolve, so I generally just... If I don't care about the planet, I auto-resolve, and hopefully they hyperspace out. If I do care, I will try to fight and win. Excuse me, I got the burps. Again, I just drank coffee, so that might be it. Now, we got Admiral Dow. Excuse me. Yeah, Admiral Dow. What do you do? Okay, yeah, I know. The Republic needs my help. Not anyone else's. Okay. Admiral Dow is a an loyal, is a loyal and experienced fleet officer who will follow his orders to his last breath. Admiral Dow will command the flagship of any fleet you assign him to and provide the fleet with tactical advantage during the space combat. During space combat. Okay. Let's select all of our units using control A. If we're like select all. And let's go ahead and zoom in on a ship. These are what the ships look like. They look amazing. Oh, yeah, let's see. Let's go zoom in on a fighter squadron. Let's go in uh, right here. Oh my gosh! Yes, these are the ships from the Clone Wars, guys. Oh, it's so cool. And then these are the heavy dreadnoughts I'm talking about. These things pack a punch, dude. Like, oh my gosh! Like, okay. So this is the hard points on the acclimator. They have laser cannon, battery, a hangar, and a couple more laser cannons. They don't. They have one turbo laser on the tip. I think that's it. Now they have three turbo laser batteries. Okay, let's go to the uh, dreadnought. That's I think a thousand or two thousand cheaper turbo laser, weapon blister, weapon blister, weapon blister. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> uh, they do seem to have a lot of weapon blisters, but these things are really good. They're so good at taking out enemy ships. Let's go ahead and use the attack move command. Uh, let's go find their space station. Move all troops. Launch all fighters. Let's go. Now these Corvettes, these are good for anti-fighters. This is the one you s Oh, we got a fighter. Oh wait, this is a missile ship. Okay. All shields are holding. They're running. Oh, come on, take them out, take them out. Take it out. There we go. Alright, nice. Let's go ahead and go into the uh, movie mode. Let's uh, go into the cinematic angle. Okay. Just space. Oh shoot, that's a ton of fighters right there. <laughs> Whoa, dude. It's lit. Dang. Alright. We got the bombers right here. We got our fighter squadrons. Okay, here's the space station, boys. That's not it, but it's like a little turret. Alright, come on, men. Hold out. Take out the turrets. Doing some damage to our capital ship. It's not even a capital ship, it's just an acclimator. You. Hunt down the enemy. Alright, there's a little light frigate that's going in. Oh, that ship's going to die in a second. Take it out, take it out. Actually, no. You need to take out these little Nantex fighters. They're tearing up our ships. They're Okay, we got a frigate over here. We got to take out this frigate. I am playing this not as efficiently as I would if I was uh, playing just, you know, by myself. Okay, uh, yo, this group right here, take out these turrets. They're being really annoying. Come on, take out this, uh... Come on, take it out. Okay, fall back. Fall back. Fall your butt back. Okay, fighters. Yo, take out these little... They're harassing our ship right here. Yo, where, where, where are these Corvettes at? Come on. We're gonna lose a ship. Alright, all ships, open fire on the space station, and there we go, space station, actually, come on, take it out, come on, okay, we got him, we got the frigate, okay, Admiral Dow's about to die, Admiral Dow just died, <laughs> bye, oh no, we lost Admiral Dow in the first episode, dang,
Alright, that's fine. We just gotta continue to take out the space station. We got good health on all of our other ships. Let's go ahead and boost your firepower. Let's go ahead and zoom in on you. Let's. Oh gosh, that's a screenshot right there. It's a good thumbnail. It's uh oh, that's also a good thumbnail. Like that. Dang. Oh, we just took a chunk out the front of our ship. No. No. It's fighters, what are you doing? Engage the enemy. I didn't buy you just to loaf around. Okay, bombers, they're picking you apart with that little missile ship. Okay. Yep, go in. Uh, fall back and open fire. Boost your weapon power. We need to take them out fast. Honestly, this is not going as well as I hoped. This is going really bad. We're going to have high losses in the first episode. <laughs> Alright, I have to do a little bit of micromanaging now. Because, for whatever reason, I've been losing a lot of ships. And my fighters aren't doing anything. Now, in the past, I have been waiting, I guess I would say. That's probably why. I've been waiting for their fighters to come out so they won't attack. Or so I'll kill the fighters, but they also have a hangar. I didn't take it out. That's probably why I lost that ship. Didn't take out the hangar first. That's my bad. Okay, space station down there. Hyperspacing away. Don't let them get away. Focus all fire on their little bomb right there. Even though it doesn't really matter. Dang. We took a beating. Just, they only had a level 2 space station and a frigate, and we just got bamboozled. Okay. We lost Adam. Oh my gosh. We lost a lot more than I thought. Excuse me, guys. Dang. Alright. Let's go ahead and prepare for the ground assault. Okay, let's go ahead and rebuild the fleet. Uh, we lost two of these. I don't have any money. Okay. It's fine. The fleet's built back. <sighs> okay. Here we go. I am going to put Obi-Wan in charge. Because I'll get Commander Cody. I'll bring Anakin up. Ooh, shoot. I'm probably supposed to be... Okay, it's not done yet. I need to start teching up as soon as this is built. Because... Um, I will get some good... Uh, when I unlock Tech 2, I can start building the 500 first. Which is amazing. Okay, let's begin. The battle for Skako. Alright. Techno Union facilities on this planet make AAT cost 20% less while this planet is controlled. Okay, so we'll cripple their AAT, um, you know, production. Um, it's the Confederacy version of Coruscant. Okay, cool. All right, so we start off right here with uh, who's this? Wait, why don't you spawn with Cody? Oh, because I don't. I'm not phase two yet. That's why. Okay. That's fine. Let's put in. Let's get Delta in here. Oh shoot, we got, we got enemy. Uh, oh gosh. Oh, we lost the commander already. <laughs> we lost the commander already. Oh gosh, that was. Oh shoot, take it out, take it out. Take them all out. All right, we need to get some armor up here. Anti armor. Let's get the two. Let's get two ATTEs. Did Obi-Wan just die? We lost Obi-Wan! <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, no. We're losing everybody in the first episode. <laughs> Sorry, Obi-Wan will respawn. It'll take a while, though. Okay, we got Delta over here, though. Delta squad... Form up, yeah. Form up. Oh, shoot. Take them all. Take them out, take them out. Come on, take out those little battle droids and take out the tank. The tank's eating you up. We lost, boss! <laughs> no! We're losing everybody. This is not how I thought this was going to go. The AI is being brutal. Retreat! No! No, we lost another... <laughs> Yo! No, we just lost another one! What is going on? I might have to turn the AI down. This is just too hard. I can't seem to get anybody into the front lines. They're shredding up my forces. What in the world is going on? Come on, take out their little tank. They're being annoying. 
Okay, take out their stupid little battle droids that are doing literally nothing. Alright, we have heavy casualties. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We are going to make some anti-turrets, or some vehicle turrets. Get over here. Secure the platform. We are going to bring in... Gosh, dang, dude. The clones, they're just... Alright, take cover, men. Take cover! Oh, we lost an ATTE. We're losing men fast. Fire! Open fire! No, zoom out. Alright. That looks really cool. Oh my gosh, we lost everybody. Okay, you know what? This battle, I'm going to retreat. I'm actually... I'm going to turn the AI on easy. Just for this to see if there's a difference. Accept. Back. Resume. Alright, we need to bring in some reinforcements. We lost way too many... Units. We're also going to bring in Anakin and Ahsoka and R2. Okay. Just got to hold the lines out right here, man. Hold the lines until we can secure this build platform. This is... Okay, we have orbital bombardment now. Nice. Um. Alright. Oh, what's going on? Who's lobbing a mortar? Okay, what are you doing? Clone Grenadier? Okay, get back. We're about to lose you. Okay. Alright. We're going to let our turrets take out a lot of these guys. Now, I know exactly where they're coming from. There are factories right over here. They're just producing droids nonstop. Alright. Clones, are you ready? Are you up for the task to defend peace for the Republic? Alright. You seem to be up for the task. Let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, nope. Thermal detonator. Okay. Move, men. Move. Attack, move. Over here. Here we go. What's that noise? <laughs> no! ATTE, move! Take cover! They're chewing you up! Finish them off. Don't let them come at you. Okay, there we go. Okay, Anakin and Ahsoka are up, leading in the front lines. Here we go. <sighs> Dang, that ATTE is making some weird noises. Okay, take them out, take them out, take them out. Oh, don't use your saber throw on a single battle droid. Okay, we got some more battle droids incoming. We are going to plop you guys in cover and take them out. Save the Jedi. There we go, man. Perfect. Why are you making that noise? Oh, that's R2, I think. I actually have no clue. Let's go take this reinforcement point. Actually, take these guys out first. That might be important. Take cover, men. Alright, nice. Just chew through that battalion right there. That's probably what I should, and I probably should have dropped in a whole bunch of clones. That looks epic. You guys cannot deny that. That looks... Freaking amazing. Yo, take them out. They're chewing through our forces like crazy. Alright, we need to get up here. You know what, ATT? Go do some damage. You're just being slow and annoying. Let's go ahead and get one more battalion of clones over here. Or one more unit, I believe they're called. Alright, now, I can't select them as they come out of the gunship. They all have to come out, which is annoying, because they're easily picked off if there are droids in the area. So, that's not good. Alright, take them out. Don't let them blow you up. They're taking some damage, ATT. What are you doing? Come on. Yep. Take it out, take it out. There we go, take out the tank. Take out this unit right here. I'm doing some micromanaging on this ATTE, but it's working. There we go. Use your big gun. Use your big gun. Come on. Blast him with your big gun. It does collateral damage. Come on, take him out. Oh, there we go. There's a factory right there. Let's actually 
shoot. We're nuking this. Nuke it! We may lose the ATTE, but we're gonna nuke it. And actually... Ah, shoot. I didn't get it in time. Okay, so it looks like orbital strikes don't do friendly damage, which is nice. This ATTE might actually be all we need. Let's select these units over here. Take this point. This ATTE is just going ham. We have a shield generator right there. What's that? A shield generator? What is this? Yeah, shield generator. There's no... Wait. There's no shield, though. I'm confused. Yo, advance. Oh, shoot. There's a factory right there. Oh, my gosh. That was OP. Oh, take out the tank. Take out the tank. Take it down. Oh, take out this tank, dude. Oh, he just wrecked you. No. Okay, we lost two ATTEs already. It's all right, though. We're actually going to speed this uh, walking up. Now, what's making that humming noise? That might be my recording software. Because it's pretty laggy right now. And it's because... Whenever I fast forward, it gets laggy. Now, for obvious reasons. Okay, they have... Armored units up here, so we need to put my guys in cover. They're on the hill! Take out the tank! Tank out the super battle droid! Tank out... Tank out that tank, yeah. Tank, tank it out! Nice! Okay, what are you guys still shooting at? Oh, this thing. Come on. Okay. Good. Good. Chancellor Palpatine. Good. Good. If you guys are a Star Wars fan and you're not quoting Star Wars quotes while you're playing this game, there's something wrong with you. Easy. Come on. Oh, you just said this is the end for you, my master. No way. That's sick. Actually, let's leave the clones to take out the tank. And put you guys in cover. <laughs> you guys heard that. Oh, I pledge my allegiance to my new empire. I'll protect my new empire. I don't know what he said, but that's awesome. Good for you. <laughs> okay, so I have shield generators, a turret right there. Squad of battle droids over here. Shoot. Oh, we're taking them out. Okay, that's all good. And they're sending more squads of battle droids just to do useless. Why are we celebrating? We haven't won. Oh, shoot, Anakin's the Anakin from, um, Revenge of the Sith. Let's, uh, go ahead and zoom in on Anakin. That's the whiny Anakin from Revenge of the Sith. No way! Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, head out over here. I can see the whole map now. Go ahead and take out that. Speed up time. Frame drop, of course. Now, can anyone tell me why my frames are dropping? I'm running it with a, uh good graphics card. I don't know why my frames would be dropping though. Okay, they're retreating. They're retreating. Don't let them get away. Nice. Nice. Retreat was aborted. We don't have any more units left to retreat. Let's just take out this. We lifted up the sh Oh my gosh, he's lifting up the shield generator. <laughs> That's sick. Okay, we won. We didn't have to take out this turret. We took out all buildings. Nice. Alright, we lost Obi-Wan and two ATTE walkers. Now, I can't replenish the ATTEs until I tech up, which is a shame. Alright, Obi-Wan is over here rebuilding, or regenerating, getting medical attention. <laughs> he will be back with us shortly. We got a lot more money, so what I do want to do is I want to reinforce these planets right here with space stations. Space stations are very important because if you have a space station and an enemy attacks, actually build some fleet commanders. The enemy attacks when you have a space station. It's not just your fleet that you have orbiting the planet. They also have to destroy the space station. And the space station can spawn in reinforcements. Um, and it has a whole bunch of turbo laser batteries and... Good. They can launch fighters. Uh, what else? Now, you guys are seeing the different types of space stations, too. So, this is a space station level 2 upgrade. 
Space Station Level 2 upgrade and a Space Station Level 2. The, the 2 is the Clone Med Bay that you guys see in the Clone Wars. Now, I will spoil one thing for you guys. And sorry, the mouse just zoomed out. But the Malevolence is in the game. The Separatists get the Malevolence, I do believe, on either Sereno or Raxus. And that thing's a beast. Now, what should be my objectives? I believe I should take this pocket right here. And then kind of take this pocket and then go for this. And just reinforce... Oh gosh, what was that? And then just reinforce these core worlds over here to make sure they don't fall into Separatist hands. Now, I did lose a good amount of my fleet. And it's rebuilding over here. Two and two. So go ahead and send these to Coruscant. Okay. So, usually at the beginning, my fleets consist of two Acclimators and two Dreadnoughts. Just for, like, you know, support purposes. Alright, did... I can tech up. Nice. So with tech two... I will get um, Torrent Company, which is uh, the 501st like company with like Jesse and stuff like that, Dogma, those units. And I will also be able to build a 501st. Like I said, I'll get Captain Rex. Um, also be able to build some other troops. Like uh, actually, I do want to build a shield generator. I'll wait, because I can get another cloning vat once I upgrade. I'm not going to put another shop on it yet. I'm getting 9,000 a day. Now, Bespin. It's also a planet I want to take. It produces a lot of money, which is something I'm interested in, of course. Okay, why is this fleet departed, or er, grounded in Skakum? We don't want that. Now, we didn't lose... Um, the commando squad because not all the commandos were killed so boss and whoever else I lost were will come back now as you can see I'm building all these shops right here because Skako they have so many buildings that you can build which is amazing now again space stations are key keys to success so Let's go ahead and upgrade these space stations. Now, at Tech 1, you can only get a level 2 space station, but as you Tech up, um, at Tech 4, you unlock a uh, space station level 5, which is pretty much... Um, it can hold their own against almost anything. So, that's nice. Uh, oh shoot, I didn't build a space station over Serapin. Let's build this. Actually, when I have been playing this, this game... I have been getting a lot of corrupted saves. So what I want to do right now, and you guys will see how many saves I have, which is crazy, because I play Republic at War, and then I play Clone Wars Mod. Two different games, but they save in the same kind of way, so it will show up on the uh, save game option. As you can see, I play a ton. And disregard the this right here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make this um, YouTube Clone uh, Clone Wars mod. Now, my saves have been getting corrupted, so hopefully this doesn't corrupt as I save. That would be really unfortunate. So let's go ahead and save that. Please don't corrupt. I know when it corrupts, when I get like little, when my little crosshair starts spinning, I can't do anything about it. It's like a little crash. It's like an exception. If you guys have uh, experienced this, let me know. Let's also save a backup. YouTube series backup. I should just name it YouTube series, honestly. Backup. Back. It's not how you spell backup. <laughs> Back up. There we go. Let's save this. There we go. Um, perfect. All right. Any space stations I need to build? I do believe I need to finish the space station. Actually, I want to reinforce. Uh, Malastir. They're going to take Malastir soon. I know that for sure. They love going after Malastir. Dang it, I don't have enough uh, resources. But I will, at the end of this day, be getting enough uh, stuff. 
Now, I don't know how long I've been recording. I assume for a while. So I think I'm going to wrap the episode up here. We took Skako. I think I wanted to take one more plane. One more battle for you guys. Okay. Uh, quiet. You're producing ships. I need you to be producing clones. Nice. You produce... Do another mine in a light vehicle factory as well. Okay. Coruscant, what can you do? Jedi Knight. Let's make a couple of Jedi Knights. Why not? Delete some ground assault. And a Naxus, actually. We need you to build a advanced clone. Now we can get commandos. Or not commandos, arc, arc troopers. Those are really cool. Okay, space stations. Uh, let's upgrade that one to level 2. Upgrade this one to level 2. I do believe it's all the space stations I can upgrade. Let's go ahead and pause the game. See what we're, see what we're going up against. Bespin. I want to take Bespin. I don't know if I have the force to do it in this fleet. Actually, let's resume. I'm going to put this over here. Can I reinforce over here yet? Okay, I need one more. Let's reinforce. Okay, Devron, what are you making? I actually need some uh, some anti-fighter ships. I don't have a lot. That bugs me. It really does. Because anti-fighters um, are coming really, really handy when the enemy starts spawning in carriers and for space stations. So, the enemy will spawn in carriers very soon. They will build them. I believe they'll build them either on Pamint or Moncala. So, we need to take those out too. Okay. Let's go ahead and send that out. And we will just make another fleet right here. And we will send over these units, I do believe. Okay, Obi-Wan's almost back. Okay. Come on, I want to build another Dreadnought Cruiser. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Come on. There we go. We just got 10,000. Alright. Uh, let's head over to Bespin. Why not? Actually, let's meet up at Aradu. Aradu, and then go to Bespin. Okay. Do I have clones available? Always produce clones. You have a build cap too, which is not good. Alright, let's take out Bespin. Here we go, boys. I still have a yogurt to eat for breakfast. <laughs> oh, here we go. Bespin space battle. Begin. Alright. The dog is still asleep. It's all good. <sighs> okay. Infantry damage bonus. We need this planet. We need this planet. We need this planet. Oh shoot, there's a... Oh, they have a huge fleet over here. Oh no. I wasn't fast enough. Okay. They only have a level 1 space station, which is nice. But we are going to be in deep trouble. If we can't take out these cruisers. Because... I have a feeling... Yeah, here come the fighters. Already. Oh, he died. <laughs> he went through the nebula and died. That's what you get. That's why you don't go through the nebula. You always go around, no matter what. Okay. Alright, we are going to... Oh, there he is. Wait. Okay, no, he's not in the nebula. It looked like he was. He's just going around. Wait, did he die? Oh, no, there's a CIS support ship. Alright, head around. I have you guys in attack. Move. Attack. Move, men. Okay, launching all fighters. Go support our ships. They're falling back. No, don't go through the nebula. Oh, wait, I guess you guys can go through the nebula. That's not a good idea. Okay, here come all their ships. Bombers, take out the nearest frigate. Fighters, actually bombers, take out their hangar. Here comes the main little fleet over here. Come on, take out that hangar. Alright, that ship is done. 
Easy. Alright, we have a huge, huge advantage over here. We have anti-fighter ships over here. These ships need to take out their fighters. Actually, fall back. Because I would like... Okay, their space station is already taking serious damage. They're taking a beating. And I don't want to lose any of my ships. So, let's attack the closest frigate. The <laughs> Battlecruiser 4. Munificent Star Frigate. What's going through my mind right now is that uh, space invasion over Ryloth. Battlecruiser 19, attack position. With uh, where Anakin totally gets obliterated, and Ahsoka loses a lot of her uh, a lot of her squadron. I just watched that, so that's why I'm thinking about it. Okay, they are done. They can't do anything. Okay, take out their engines. We don't want them getting away if they try to hyperspace out. This is just total carnage for the Separatists. They tried to blockade the planet with like seven star frigates. I'm going to say it's actually like five. But they totally failed. Like, look, they tried to retreat, but they can't. All their engines are gone. Let's just blow it up. Blow it up. Oh my gosh. That was beautiful. That is a good attack. We stayed in formation, and when they engaged us, they lost six. I didn't lose anything. Dang, these acclimators are actually doing really good. I don't know if it's acclimators or if it's the dreadnoughts. But whatever it was, they got bamboozled, dude. Okay, can I bring the fleet over from Camino out? Let's go ahead and send you guys over to Bespin. Let's send the Jedi over to Bespin. Say that so harshly, Jedi. <laughs> uh, we have another ATTE walker that I'm willing to spare. For the sake of taking Bespin. Because it's a mining planet. And as soon as I can cripple their, uh, their fleet, the better. Actually, I have it on easy still. For the ground assault, I'll keep it for easy. Then I'll put it on medium. Actually, you know what? I'll just do it now. Oh, they have, oh, they have Palpatine. Darth Sidious. Oh goodness, that's not good. Alright. <sighs> that's not good at all. Alright, they have very few troops on Mustafar. And a very small blockade. That might be a target of interest. Because Mustafar can build capital ships, and they take 25% less time to build. That would be huge in producing venators. Let's go ahead and get, uh, what should I lead with? It's a great question. What's my tech time? 74%, so in a couple minutes. I don't know. What should I lead with? I actually need more clone troopers. Okay, let's take out Bespin. They don't have a lot of things here. Should be fairly easy. It seems like it's a small, small map. It's a very small map. Let's just lead in with the, uh, the good old clone battalion. Clone, what is this? Clone platoon. Here we go. Time to begin the ground assault on Bespin. We're gonna take him out! <laughs> Alright. Let's begin. The computer is heating up. Quite a lot. Alright. Enemies, Enemies moving in. What do they have? What's this? Fuel refinery. I can take that out pretty easily. Alright, I can only bring in three things. Let's bring in armor, and let's bring in another clone. Clone battalion. Clone platoon. Excuse me. Let's try to go hero-less. Let's just get a zoom in on these guys. These guys are so cool. That's a good screenshot. Oh, the gun just fired. Oh, they're trying to attack us from a lower level. But they can't. Oh, we have the high ground! <laughs> we have the high ground! Oh, hey, 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 where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Okay. 
let's move out. If they're so antsy to attack, let's just uh, show them uh, what's up. Let's grade that turret. We can see the whole map, which is strange. Can I uh, just bomb these guys to death? Do I have a bombing run available? No, I don't. Do they have any... No, they just have bunkers. That's it. No real buildings. I just have to wipe out the ground forces. And honestly... They're going for these two guys. If I can't take them out... I can, I can take... Wait, no, I can't. Move over here. I said move over here. No, are you going to move or are you stuck? I think these guys are stuck. That's unfortunate. Yeah, these guys are stuck. Oh! Whoa, he just blew those out of the sky! Take him out! <laughs> oh my gosh! You just got wrecked, bro! Get wrecked! We got ground forces coming in. Build that turret. Where are you going? That's not a good idea. Did we uh, just totally take everything out? I think we did. We have they have little, little bit of ground forces left. Not a whole ton. Let's take these guys out. They will win. Nice. I think I have to take out their uh, export facilities. Unfortunately. We have an attack run available. It's not necessary, but why not? Coming in from the north. And these guys are dead. Boom. Yep. They just got destroyed. Now, in real life, all these clones have been dead. <laughs> this bomb just went off right on them. Can this camera work? Cooperate, please. Damn, I love the models and the way they shoot. It's just amazing. Okay, what's over here? They got a little beauty clone or a uh, droid platoon. And that's it. That's all I got. I don't believe. Oh, shoot. I need to take those out. Oh, wait. Orville strike that, please. Orville strike. Okay, retreat. Take cover. Come on. Orville strike it. We lost a man. We lost a couple men. Alright. And we just gotta take out this now. And they also have troops in there. You know what? ATTE? It's all up to you, man. It's all up to you. I'm gonna quicken this a little bit. Now, I think I stopped recording. Honestly. I don't see my frames anywhere. That would suck. Because. Oh, take them out. Yeah, take you out. Okay. It would take this squad out. There we go. They're treated. Now I do need to make sure I'm still recording. Yes, I am still recording. <laughs> Alright, Bespin. Nice. We took Bespin. Just make all of these monies in here. Okay. I have a huge fleet. Let's not lose it. That would not be good. Let's actually move a couple of infantry down here. That way it's not so easy to take if... So you know what? Let's just... We're in the middle of separatist space. Let's make sure they can't take it. Space Station upgrading, and as soon as we hit Tech 2, I will end this episode. I know it's been a long one. We're at 89%. Let's just fast forward. Fast forward! 90%. It's very laggy when I fast forward. I don't know why. Okay, we got Obi-Wan back. He died on Skako, and that's where he is. <laughs> I do need to blockade Skako. Do that with these ships. Tech 2? Here? There we go, guys. 95% to Tech 2. Honestly, it might be faster if I just don't move it like this fast. 
maybe we'll see. Yeah, it might be faster if I just leave it. No, maybe. Fast forward. Fast forward. Yeah, it's faster. There, we teched up. We got Plo Koon. We got Captain Rex. Captain Rex. We got level 3 space stations, too. Nice. And we can also build the 501st. Let's get another cloning vault. Or vat. And let's start building the 501st Legion, guys. On the next episode of the Clone Wars mod, watch the 501st get ready to attack and defend the core worlds. We will be taking Bespin and we will be taking Musafar, so stay tuned.